And Mitch, talk a little bit about, you know, why health is so important to to your organization, which is the organization of Mitch Hanniger. That's been the constant, right? It's it's you're the organization. How important has health been, particularly movement health? Well, I mean, it's everything. Being a professional athlete, it's all about movement. And um, you know, I've like you said, I've experienced a lot of injuries over my career, and I've I've had to look at them. And um, always look at him in a positive light and see what I can do when I've gotten injured. Um, kind of have my checklist of, of, okay, these are the things I can do and these are things I can do and in order to come back as strong or even better. And I've had some injuries where I've come back even stronger. And I think it's because I've had that mindset that, I, that you've taught me. And, um, that, you know, especially I've had multiple different injuries. I've had an elbow injury one year and uh, coming back from it, the second game back, I had a hamstring injury. Um, it was just because early on in my career, I was 22 years old. I didn't really understand what it was, what it was like to be hurt and miss a lot of time. So um, I, I wasn't sprinting a lot and some of those things get neglected in rehab. So now um, suffering from an ulna fracture and I'm like, okay, when's the earliest I can start sprinting so that my legs are not only strong when I get back on the field, but hopefully even in a better spot than they were um, when I had my arm fracture. Yeah, I think that's the, the one of the great things I've seen you learn and even teach me that movement health truly is, you know, a global concept, right? And if you hurt one certain area, you mentioned the elbow, it doesn't preclude you from doing other things while that injury is, you know, recovering and improving, right? So to your point, you had that elbow injury coming back, you know, there was a sprinting injury, but certainly towards the middle and tail end of the elbow injury, there could have been sprinting to prepare to return. And I love that, that analogy you use of a checklist, right? Something happens, set back. You're like, okay, what can I do? That's where your mind goes right away. Right. Yeah. And I think um, that's for me, it's more mentally than it is physically, but it's, it's, they go hand in hand from what I found with my health. It's like when I'm moving a lot, this is one thing why um, being a professional athlete, your body's everything. So you need to take care of your body. So um, when you rely on it to move in certain ways and get stronger and faster, it responds well. But also, you know, when I'm done playing, I want to move well the rest of my life. I still want to have an active life with my daughter, with my, you know, future kids to come and my wife and, and be able to move because that makes me mentally happy as well. So when I had this fracture, I was like, okay, this, this sucks. And obviously you have some negative thoughts come in, but then I kind of tried to switch it as fast as possible to, man, of all the rehabs I had, this might be one of the easiest ones because like you said, I can run, jump, even hit with my other hand. Um, there's so many things I can do. And, and for me, that just keeps my mind active. And also, I know, I, you know, it's only going to help my performance when I get back on the field. 